the most significant, precious promises in God's Word is one that I think we've heard so often that it may have lost the wonder to some of us. It's that verse in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 that says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Of course, you know that this is a prophecy of Jesus, the Messiah, 700 years before his birth. Now, as I was studying this name, here's something that really struck me, and that is that the eternal incarnate Son of God, the God who always was and the God who became flesh, that's what the word incarnate means, that Son of God was sent to earth by the Father, because God loved this world so much, he sent his son to save us. But that son who came to earth, sent by the father, was rejected by those he came to save. And the people that God had created said, we do not want this man to rule over us. So they put him to death, the son of God. But that's not the end of the story. The father who had sent his son, the owner of the vineyard, had the final word. We read in Romans chapter 1 that Jesus was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead. He didn't stay dead. He was declared to be the eternal son of the father by his resurrection from the dead. And then I just would have you contemplate how amazing it is that God would give his beloved son for us. To us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Oh, the wonder of it all.